Hey, this is Dave Erickson with EnduranceHour.com. If you'd like to get a free run form analysis like this one, click on the link below to sign up. When you do, you'll get an email to confirm and directions will automatically download. Hey Pamela, thanks for sending me your run videos for analysis. Um, the length of the videos from the front view, side view, and back view were fantastic. So the first thing I'm looking at is I'm looking at your cadence and then I look at your foot strike. I look at where you're striking on your, the, the bottom of your foot and I'm looking at where you're striking, whether you're in front of your, your body or whether you're directly underneath the center of mass. And then I'm also looking at posture and arm swing. So when it comes to cadence, you are right around a 75 or 150 two foot strikes up to 160 or 80 one foot strikes a minute, that's okay. Um, when it comes to going faster, you first wanna work on that cadence, taking more foot strikes per minute. So right now, you know, you're between 75 and 80 one foot strikes. I'd like to see that, you know, first try to get from 78 to 82. Try to increase your foot strikes or your cadence um, slowly. And the, you wanna do that at the same speed. So make sure you note what speed you were on the treadmill. Keep that speed and just try to move your feet a little bit faster, see what happens. To do that, you're gonna to wanna to drive your knee forward and lift your heel up more. Um, but let's, let's move on to the next thing I'm looking at. So after cadence, um, I'm looking at your stride. Your stride has to do with how far in front of you are you landing. And you are landing pretty good. You're actually landing pretty much underneath your center of gravity. What you don't want to do is you don't want to land too far out in front of your hips because then you're probably going to be a heel striker. So let's talk about that. When it comes to the foot strike, you're either a forefoot striker, a midfoot striker, or a heel striker. Everyone's a little bit different, but generally, if you're a four-foot striker, you could develop some calf, Achilles problems, injuries. It, where you want to be is more of a midfoot striker. If you're a heel striker, generally that may um, create some hip or knee pain. Everyone's different. Um, this is just based on the research and what they say when runners potentially get injured. It could be due to how they're striking the ground. You, I can see from the side view and then it's confirmed from the front view and the back view, you are striking very forefoot, very, I call that toey. And that is providing you, that's actually probably helping provide you a little bit quicker cadence because you're doing that. Um, I just want you to be mindful to try to go from striking here to a little bit more of that midfoot. Midfoot's flat foot. So you do want to, when it comes to heel striking, you are going to strike the ground with your heel, but first you want to strike the ground midfoot, which is about flat foot, and then your heel lands. Again, it's just something to be mindful. I know you're a new runner. I just want to give you some stuff to think about as you run. Then when it comes to posture, what I'm looking at is seeing if you have a forward lean. You want to try to lean forward from your ankles. You don't want to lean forward from your waist. And I'm looking at arm swing. And I'm just looking at a nice tall, like if there was a string that it's pulling your body up and you have a little bit of a forward lean. When you have a forward lean, that helps bring you up a little bit more on your midfoot or forefoot. And being on the treadmill, it's a little bit more difficult to see and to have a forward lean when you're running on the treadmill. So you wanna take all these um, cues that I'm giving you, think about it while you're running on the treadmill and then try to take it when you take it outside running. So those thoughts come first. And then when you're ready to kind of make the next step, then you start thinking about hip and knee flexion, knee drive, how high is your heel coming up to your butt, which has to do with knee drive. I've created some other videos that I describe uh, more in depth front technique that I'm gonna share with you, but I just wanted to congratulate you. You're doing a really good job. Um, just some things to think about, especially if you're starting to feel any aches and pains, it could have to do with that foot strike. If you have any questions, please comment below or shoot me an email, and I hope you make it a great day.